Maxie with Maxie Makes. I want to share a great little gift idea for you today. See this beautiful mug? Notice that it has a matching mug rug. The fabrics I'm using are designed by my daughter, Bonnie Christine, for Art Gallery Fabrics. I'm going to show you how to make the mug rug, and I'm going to tell you how to get a matching mug at the end of the demo. All right, let's get started. First of all, you need a piece of fabric for the top of your mug rug. You need a piece of batting, and you need a backing. Layer those wrong side up, batting, and the top right side up. Now, for my mug rug, I chose a hexagon shape, and I have a great ruler here, and I just put it down on the fabric and drew around it with a erasable marking pen. I like those iron off pens. Then go to your sewing machine and stitch on that line that you drew and quilt it however you'd like. For this one, I chose straight line quilting. This one, I just outlined the little beehives. Here I have some other geometric quilt designs. Just do whatever makes you happy. And after you've quilted it, you need to trim away the top fabric and the batting. I like these applique scissors for that. They're also called duckbill scissors because this part of the scissor will slip underneath the two layers and protect the bottom layer from getting cut. And you can just trim very, very closely to that stitching line all the way around. Let me hold that up so you can see that a little better. See? Trim all the way around. Then you want to trim the outer edge of the backing three-fourths of an inch away from your sewn line. Let me show you what that looks like. This one has been trimmed, and it is... I just laid the ruler down and uh, put the three-fourths inch line here next to the seam and just trim all those edges. Take it to the iron at this point, and on every other side, you need to fold in that flange halfway and then fold it in one more time like so just on every other one okay now at this point i like to take a glue stick and put a little dot of glue a little line of glue and press that over in place let's just do that real quick This is a washable glue. It's safe for use on fabrics. In fact, it's made for quilters to use. Might touch that with the iron one more time. Now we're ready to press in the other three edges. And this is where the miter look comes in. If we fold this in half and press, I'll only do one for you here. Move that. And then fold it again. And you are going to have a perfect mitered edge right in the corner there. Sort of like cheating with your little quilt here. We don't have to put binding on there, but can you see how, how nice that'll be? We'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll stitch it down like this one. We've stitched all around there just on the regular machine and it's all finished. And there you have your mug rug. All right, let's talk about the mug now. You can order a beautiful mug like this from society6.com. Bonnie has uploaded many of her fabric designs to that website so you can order the mug there and you can order her fabrics from my website and have a matching mug and a matching mug rug. What an excellent gift. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing and God bless.